Virginia O'Brien grew up in Los Angeles? That's right. Really? Uh-huh. I can't believe. Well, I was born in our home. My mom was afraid she'd get our kids mixed up with a hospital. Uh -huh. So we were born at home. Uh, two blocks from Chavez Ravine, that's where our home was, uh -huh. so, which is now the Dodger Stadium. Your father was a police captain? He was captain of LAPD. LAPD? Yeah. Like, what's his name uh, right now? Uh, the guy who's at... Uh, there, well, Gates. Uh, ex Your yeah, father my was... Yeah, my husband was, he was, yeah, uh, back in the 20s, 30s, uh -huh. he was the, you know, uh, chief was the head of the whole right. shebang. It, there wasn't that much crime then, was there really? Oh, well, not, not the no. riots and thing. I tell you, my dad wouldn't have stood for, the, for what uh, went on. They, I don't know how, uh -huh. how they handled this, but I don't think it was but you know, Brian, on their toes. Tell me. First, on stage, you got scared. Something happened. You were in a show called... Meet the People. Meet the People. We opened In Hollywood here? Yep. Uh, we opened at the Assistance League Playhouse. It was a darling little uh, theater. Uh-huh. And the show became such a hit that we moved to the Hollywood Playhouse on Vine Street. Right. But Mr. L.B. Mayer saw me in the show, and uh, actually two weeks after we opened, I'd made a test, and I was signed at MGM. MGM signed you right away, just like that, uh -huh. in two weeks in the show. What happened? You got scared on stage, that stiffness of your, uh, of your uh, routine? Yeah. You were singing a song, and you... And <laughs> And you no. didn't even know what you were doing? Or what well, I just I, no, I thought I knew what I was doing. I was doing an Ethel Merman, I thought, because I loved Ethel's right. style. Right, But when I got in front of an audience, and instead of, you know, doing all the gestures that, that uh, you know, my dear friend did, uh, this is all to, I could do. Oh, for, that, that was as far, far as I could raise my hands. You didn't even move your neck. No, well, just barely. This was all the rhythm. And, uh, this and this and the face, nothing happened. Right. By the way, singing up a storm. Uh -huh. The audience... <laughs> they did, laughed. Did they? They thought I was Is that where Louis B. Louis B. Mayer got his idea to he sign you? He must have. He must have. Signed you with MGM right away? Yeah. First picture. And, and, first uh, film. It's called Hullabaloo. With, uh, no, I can't, can't say that. That's the first one I sang in. But they put me in and a show. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh, a movie called uh, Sky Murder with Walter Pigeon. Right. So they gave me a part where, you know, all the, all the gals were scared, so I screamed a lot. Right. And then we used the, the uh, I saw Jimmy Stewart yesterday out at the Motion Picture Home and uh, been seeing Philadelphia's story. Right. They've been showing it, and the same house they used in Philadelphia's story were used in Sky Murder the first on the back lot of uh -huh. MGM. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, the first movie that I sang in was called Hullabaloo. It was the uh, a takeoff on what uh, Orson Welles did on radio. On radio. Well, who was in that film with you? Frank Morgan. Frank Morgan. Great guy. Great. Dan Daly. Dan Daly. Virginia Daly. Gray. Uh, I can't think that far God, that's, uh, you know, Sam, that sounds all like 20th Century Fox people. Dan Daly, Virginia Gray. Yeah, he came Isn't over it? to MGM. Uh-huh. But MGM makes... was the studio in, oh, yes. at that time. Second film. What was the second film, Virginia? Do you uh, remember? Mm, uh, oh, The Big Store. The Big Store. With, the gra with Groucho, Groucho, you know, the Marx Brothers. Right, right. Yeah, nice. Were they fun to work with, oh, Groucho Marx? They were crazy. Were they? Oh, yeah. Did you sing in, that, in this film? rock a Bye, Baby. Uh -huh. And everybody loves that song. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and I became really close friends with Groucho and his daughter, Miriam. Uh -huh. uh, I'm invited to their home all the time. And uh -huh. And then Groucho was going to do uh, a radio show, Paps Blue Ribbon Beer. Of right, that. right. So he uh, wanted me on the show, so MGM let me do that. I was uh -huh. filming when they'd have a, a limo take me to the uh, to CBS mm -hmm. to tape uh, the, the radio show, which I did for 13 weeks. You did radio. Uh -huh. Was it fun oh, doing I did radio? A lot of radio? Did you? Do, was it fun, Virginia? Yes. Tell me about being on MGM contract for so many years. I uh -huh. mean, with Judy Garland. How many films did you do with Judy Garland? Well, the Harvey Girls was the first. Well, that was was, yes, and that was. Uh, that but was a, uh, we were in a lot of movies that, that's you know, what I mean, together. But really, but um, you but, did a lot of films with Judy. Really? Well, just uh huh. Judy was a very close friend of yours. Oh, she was a doll. I loved her. You met loved her in, working with her. You met her with the Harvey Girls. Is that the first time you met Judy? When you did the uh, film Harvey Girls I can't on the remember. set, that's a great, I think so. great story. I think so. That was oh, a great film. It? Did you have fun doing it? Oh, I loved doing it. 
Really? Because I was Margaret O'Brien was in that too, wasn't first, she? Little no. Margaret? No, wasn't? Uh-uh. Okay, okay. Who no. was in on Virginia something? There's another Virginia in that too. Wasn't there another Virginia? In the Harvey Girls? In the Harvey Girls? No, Virginia? Sid Charisse. Sid Charisse, go ahead. Uh -huh. Who else? Marjorie Maine. Right. And that the main There was another girl. Girls. There was other, another girl there, I thought. There, uh, you, you don't remember? I don't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, no, it doesn't. It was a great because film. Because I can't A great, great film. Yeah. What song did you do in the Harvey Girls? What was that? Uh, Johnny Mercer and Harry Warren wrote, I was hoping to be roping something wild in the wild, wild west. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, and then, of course, it, the songs that I did with Judy and Sid, uh, It's a Cold, Cold World. Uh-huh. And That's then, the song I'm thinking of. It's a cold, cold, cold world. world. When your three girls are up the, by the window. On the balcony. On uh -huh. the balcony. That's the one I was thinking of. But I thought Margaret O'Brien was in that. I don't know why. I saw Margaret yesterday. Did you? My little friend. Yeah. How is she doing? Oh, just fine. You guys, you still meet your fr old pals around when oh, you're going yeah. out? Uh-huh. You're still oh, friendly goodness, yeah. and all? You, how do you and guys... And Virginia was there yesterday. Virginia Mayo. Virginia Mayo. From our little old trip. And since you you see a lot, do you? Well, I have a picture over here that... Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh no, she's on Broadway now doing uh, Grand Hotel. She just got back from Broadway. Oh, she's she just yeah. back already? Yes, she is. Boy, look at this. I want to show this. This is Till the Clouds Roll By with Judy Garland. And look at you in the back of the cover of this. Look, that is you there. Oh, yeah. look how beautiful. Oh. What song was that we were singing in that? Do you remember? Life upon the wicked stage ain't ever what a girl supposes. Life upon the great. wicked stage. That's a great, great. That's Jaron Kern. Yes. God. That's a life story. That's this is the whole about. life story of it, yes. yes. Judy Garland, I want to get back. Did she take pills at the time you knew her at the beginning of her career? Or was it well, hard for her? Do you remember anything on the sets at the time? She Virginia? wasn't showing up at work. Well, she wasn't. No. And then we'd sit on the train. And she said, oh, I was up all night, Virginia. She said, it felt like my teeth were crumbling away or something. You know, I didn't know uh -huh. what was going on. and. And I said, Judy, you're not showing up. And I was expecting my first daughter. Uh -huh. And I was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh -huh. I was doing scenes with pillows on, on my lap and uh -huh. behind So you were whatever. pregnant when you were doing the film? Yes, with Terry. With Terry, your first, yes. is it your first girl? Uh -huh. How many do you have? I have three daughters three and daughters. a son. That's fun. You were, yeah, you're there's pregnant. There's a picture of my son uh -huh. and my three daughters and three of my oh, grandchildren. Oh, great. I'll have to see this. this. Here, show this. Can we get a real close up on that? Voila. Oh, this is the O'Brien family. Oh, nice. Yeah, and three of my grandchildren live in Boise, Idaho. Uh -huh. So th this is the other three that live here. In Do you celebrate the Irish Day, St. Patrick's Day, O'Brien, Virginia? Oh, well, this St. Patrick's Day, guess where we were? Where were you? We were out at Martha Ray. She invited us out. And Martha? Mar and Mark Harris. You've yeah. got Mark Harris's picture here. He is that her husband? Yes. That's her new husband. Yes. Oh, okay. He's a doll. I love is him. Is he? Is he fun? Yeah. He His pulled me up. Mark. He said, Virginia, we're going to sing. So we got up and sang. How's Mark, um, uh, Martha Ray doing nowadays? I well, hear she's, she's getting better, is she? Yeah, little. Is she? But she's in the wheelchair, you know. Is she? Uh-huh. She's such life money. Oh, she, I know. Gets we were invited to her home, uh, you know, for dinner on uh, St. Patty's Day. Uh-huh. You know, of course, I saw you on on uh, Saturday out at, at Century St. Patrick's. Yeah, in Century City, we did the St. Patrick's show. Yeah. Tell me about living, you're not living in Los Angeles, you're living where? In Wrightwood. Wrightwood, and you yes. are the mayor of Wrightwood. And it is uh, a mayor. The ma yeah. Come on, how do you feel the being the mayor of Virginia O'Brien? Oh, come see, come saw. How many in the city? <laughs> no, it's fun. Is it fun? Yeah. Is it cold up there? Well, it is. You know, we got our snow, and we had a lot of snow this year. In fact, we still have a little bit in the mountains. I think it's great up there in the mountains. The Mountain High mountains. Ski Resort. What does a mayor like you, uh, what is your duties? What well, your duties? You, uh, we put on shows in the summertime, like a chili cook off. Right. And then we have a Mountaineer Day, with, uh -huh. and we have band, you know, bands coming in and out, and, and uh -huh. uh, little uh, uh, booths where, you know, people come up and right, sell right, their wares. Right, right, and, right. you know, we just keep little things like that going. You and close down the main so, street. So you only have good, one street. You only have one street? One main street. Any Howard Johnson's area? One flavor, probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about MGM Days, Virginia. Oh, going back, thinking back. Fond memories? Oh, goodness, yes. 
No regrets it, at all oh in those days? Oh, my goodness, no. None? I, uh, so uh, you, you've had a good time there yes, on the set? I loved it. It was fun going to work, you know. Uh huh. What do you mean but, by fun going to work? Well, I it's mean, because I love to sing. When it's work. And then I worked with so many, you know, with Lucille and... Lucille Ball Lucille. and Red Skelton. Of course, the girl I was thinking of is Lucille Brenner. Remember Brenner. her? Yeah, of That's course. That's it. Lucille That's the Brenner. Girl. She was beautiful. Whatever oh, happened yeah. to her? She moved to uh, uh, Mexico uh -huh. or South America. She doesn't come in town too she often. She doesn't. They stay away. They just. Uh -huh. But Virginia Bryan still comes to Hollywood. Well, <laughs> you go to all the openings. You go. You keep oh, yourself I'm... busy. Oh yes. Look at this. You were just in London. They uh -huh. did a whole thing of Stairway to the Stars. Look at this. Let's st look at you right in the middle there, right? Is this you in the middle? Yeah, right, right there. Look at this. Who are all these stars? Name some of you for me. Uh, Jamie Good Russell. God. Uh, Glory uh, Haven, Dolores Tony. Gale Gray, well, Catherine Grayson. My through. God, Tony, Dorothy Lamore. Catherine Grayson. Tony Martin, Jean yeah, Nelson. Lorna Love next to me and Armin Jane Hall. Russell. Oh, my God. Look at all Glory these wonderful... The Lord and Dor Dorothy Lamore, yeah, and Van Johnson. Catherine Grayson, still singing around? Is she still around? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Is she doing? How is she doing nowadays? She oh, fine. Yeah, she's doing great. You see Jane Powell, all these MGM stars still? Well, Jane once lives in... Once in a while. Jane no, lives in New York, doesn't she? Uh-huh. She and Dickie live in New York. Uh -huh. But sometimes she shows up at our... Uh, some stars, I think. I can't recall which one, but uh, they're very... Starish, you know what I mean? Are there a lot of stars like that? Yeah, stars, oh, yeah. They are into themselves? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Red Skelton, one of the greatest <laughs> comedian entertainers <laughs> ever. Funny. Is he always funny, funny. that way? Uh, well, he wears you out, actually, on the set <laughs> because he's always doing something really weird. And the thing is, uh, Red and his wife, Edna, at the time, right. were really good friends. Mm -hmm. And I'd be out at their home. They lived out in Reseda, and they were at my mom and dad, because I lived at home. Right. And I wasn't married yet. So, uh, actually, once uh, after they moved to Brentwood, Red and Edna asked right. me to come out for dinner, and uh, I met Re uh, Kirk, right. my first husband. Uh -huh. So Red and Edna introduced me to, to Kirk Allen. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've had some good memories in, uh, about MGM days, like Louis B. Mayer. Was he a real tough, tough man or was he people think he was he was tough yeah because yeah. he was a businessman he was running an empire right. you know he knew what he was doing but he was not when i was doing merton of the movies with red which right. i didn't sing in he gave, he gave me the acting. lead right and he'd come down on the set you know walk around with his arm around me uh -huh. just talking and you know just down to earth nice i love uh, mr mayor and, of course, he was a good friend of my dad's. <laughs> uh -huh. Your dad was the, the sheep? Well, uh, yeah. Right, of course. Yeah. A book? How about a book? Are you writing a book? I am. I've been making notes, Skippy, for years, and I came to a thing just recently, and I thought, well, I don't think anybody would buy it. I don't have anything Why not? in it. Oh, yes, you're one of the MGM's greats, darling. You think it was? Of course you are. You are one of the Because I wasn't MGM's allowed to go out with anybody, and... Look you know, at I don't you. Have here, look, I want to show you something. This what? is put on the Ritz, and here you are with our... Look at these people you're with. The, now, get, give me this picture. This is you, and this next one is Dolores Gray, and the next one is Arlene Dahl, is that? Yes. And the other one is... Jane what? Russell. Jane Russell. Now, there are four greats. You're legends. You know, how about Lana yeah. Turner? Good friends on the set? Lana. Oh, yes, Lana. Lana. MGM. Oh, I know. Come on, tell yeah, me about I used Lana. To, I just adore I used to, her. You know, we'd see each other at different functions and things. We were in bosom buddies uh -huh. or anything like that. But I, I really love. Who Lana. was Virginia O'Brien's bosom buddies on the set? Eleanor uh, Powell was my bosom buddy. The tap buddy. dancer. Yes. Eleanor Powell. I loved her. Yes. And how about Judy Garland? And Judy. Judy. Well, I didn't see her. Uh, you know, we weren't. What made Eleanor Powell and Virginia O'Brien? Such bosom buddies. I mean, you go out. Well, and we did, you know, yeah. movies. We played, you know, uh, parts together. You right, know, right. like in Ship Ahoy. Uh -huh. You know, we were girlfriends. I see. You know, we we, we didn't know Ship each Ahoy other. is the film. That was a great film, wasn't it? It was fun. Oh God, she did some great dancing in it. Yep. Ann Miller. And How about Ann Miller? And Annie. Annie. Actually, I didn't know Ann that well. We didn't do movies together. Right, but you were on the set. But we, well, sure. God, always. And we great. had more fun. I just love being with her on that 
been on that cruise. Uh huh. This is great. This is this is Virginia O'Brien, uh, Virginia Mail, and you. Uh huh. Look at this. That was in the. This is on the cruise. Yeah, that was on the cruise. Uh huh. Captain gave. Us. I want to show this. This is your husband and you. Yeah, oh. that's on the staircase. This on is the Harry. Side of Harry. York. This is Harry White. Yeah. Oh, look at Harry White, Virginia O'Brien. How long have you been married to Harry White? Twenty-three years. Twenty-three years. Having a good time. Harry's such yeah. an easy guy to get along with, yeah. isn't he? He really is. He what makes him so easy uh, to get along with? He's so I nothing. think because he's an Aquarian or something. That's what they say. Uh -huh. <laughs> you brought it. I, you got another clip I got to show you from MGM. This is another clip I want to show. It's great. It's one of my favorites. Okay? okay. Let's see another clip of Virginia O'Brien, Metro Golden Mare. The mayor of Panama has been using her voice until the air raid sirens get here. <laughs> I was a sunken souffle, a shirt still looking for starch. I was a ballroom after the ball. I was a fallen arch. I was a frozen asset, a burlesque without a then suddenly from over the sea came, well, just look at me please, I'm fresh as a daisy, tough as a stake, mean as a miser, low as a snake, scared as a rabbit, small as a mite, gay as a metal arc, high as a kite, and wild, as a tiger, and drunk, as a fool, and sour, as a lemon, and stubborn, as a mule, and as a cookie, and pure, as a dove. I'm fresh as a daisy, hot as a rock, fit as a fiddle, proud as a cock, bright as a button, sly as a fox, shy as a violet, strong as a knock, light as a feather, blind as a bat, mad as a hatter, nervous as a cat, sharp as a razor, smooth as a glove, and that means mister. I'm in love, 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 love. So, I don't understand, how do you see Virginia O'Brien looking at yourself on film nowadays, when you see yourself on film? I mean, your waist was so thin, and you oh, were so uh, beautiful, and you're still beautiful. This is but DK, tell me, before kids. No. That was before kids. <laughs> yeah, but tell me, when you see yourself, how do you feel? I, I, I love the movies. You still, still you don't, yeah. it doesn't frighten you to see yourself or get scared? No? No. You have some good memories about oh, the Oh, yes. Oh, goodness, yes. So you don't have no regrets, Virginia O'Brien, sitting there telling me that you've had a good time in life. You've had I a good love, time. I'm still doing it. That's what I wouldn't. Oh, of course. Yes, you're performing. You're I just performing. love to. You could be performing for the uh, motion picture home, which right. I've been doing for 33 years, uh -huh. long before the Mr. Mayor's Theater uh -huh. was built. And uh, we're doing a show in the lodge. Now, we don't do the dingling shows anymore because right. the uh, older people, there were 80 and uh -huh. 90, they were uh -huh. doing the show, so a lot of them aren't around anymore. But we're doing a birthday show uh, on the 11th. Uh -huh. And uh, Fayard, it'll be. I'm doing Ethel Merman. I'm doing I Got mm -hmm. Rhythm, uh -huh. which I've done before. Right. And then Fayard's going to do Sammy Davis, and someone from New York. I don't know his name is Garden or something. He's doing uh -huh. Liberace, uh -huh. and uh, I don't know who else. Paula Does Virginia O'Brien believe in fate? Like you know, you know, if you weren't at that theater that day, and Mer Metro Golden Mayor, he wouldn't see you. Do you believe in fate? Like question. I, I have not, really never thought about it, Skippy. You haven't? No. Uh -uh. You're not going to be doing a book. You say no one will Well, not. maybe I think now, uh, maybe you've spurred me on to, to really uh, continue. Because you keep your life it. busy. You keep happy. You're a mayor. You're, uh, you, you're married. You have children. Your children, matter of fact, are in the business, aren't they? One is a drummer Just, or something? No, Terry, she used to be a drummer, but now she plays electric bass. Uh huh. Yeah. She has a band? Well, she had for years. Uh, uh -huh. Jenny Jones, who's on NBC now. Right. Uh, she was the drummer in an all-girl band. Jenny Jones was in the drum with your yeah, daughter. Well, yeah, they really? had a group for years. That's right. She and then she became a comedian. Yeah. Is that the Jenny Jones? The one that's on. I a talk show lady. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I remember it very. Uh huh. Your daughter's a wonderful, wonderful guitarist. Oh yeah. Well, she, she sings too. She backs me up. Uh, when I'm at the Hollywood Vine Street or at the Motion Picture You do home. work at the Vine Street in Hollywood? I oh, I've only know. been there five times. Virginia, I didn't know that. I'm sitting here thinking, I didn't know that. How wonderful. Yeah, the Gardenia. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, I don't go down there anymore, but... Because I make an entrance. 
I have to walk around the block to make my entrance at the uh -huh. Gardenia. So you do all your yeah. songs, all your songs from the films that you've done on your act right now? Yeah. And well, the, the, the album that you saw before, you know, the, right. I didn't, you didn't see it today, the, the uh, a tribute to the MGM musicals. Uh -huh. See, that's, that's the... Uh, that's okay, that's okay, darling. No, it but isn't. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. From the MGM see. Oh, the Virginia O'Brien salute, the great the MGM, MGM musical. And those are the songs that I do. This is your album. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, this uh -huh. is great. It's out now? Yeah. It's out now. It's been out for about eight years. Uh-huh, I didn't And when know. I was in London, they went into Tower Records, and they had, a, you know, they're selling it over there also. Uh -huh. So Virginia O'Brien says you're having a good time in life. Oh, yes. And you've had six wonderful grandchildren, which are... How many years were you with MGM? Ten. Ten years. Uh -huh. Seems like a long time, doesn't it? With all those yeah. films you did. I mean, you did all but these... Then Frank Sinatra, tell me about Frank. I don't you, know. How you, about Frank? Well, you worked Till Clouds Row By. He was in it. Lena I Horn. Know, I know to that. Tell me about Frank Sinatra. Why? <laughs> Why? Because I would like to know. Because you're, you know, he loves you. Yeah. And Lena he Horn. He had me you. over when he was having tests made for, you know, his face because he had a little from, from being a breech baby, and they had to test him a lot, you know, right. makeup uh -huh. wise. So he'd ask me to come over, and then he asked me out one night. And a date. A date. Yeah. A he date. asked you a good date, and then. Of course, I was living at home with my right. mom and dad. Right. And uh, she said, no, you're supposed to meet him down at the hotel on, while well, he was living uh, on Vine Street, some right. hotel. He you mean you had to meet him? He, he told me, yeah, he wanted me to meet him down and he'd take me. To, my mother said, no, why don't you get a hold of him and have him come out here for dinner? Right. So did he come out? Are you kidding? No way, Jose. Was that the last date with uh, Virginia O'Brien with <laughs> Frank Sinatra? Was it really? That was it. Who's some of the dates that you used to go out with in MGM? They used to set up your dates for you? When well, you we, yes, with uh, Bob Sterling. They'd have him take me. Well, I never went out with, you know, any of any Ken Bill or and let's see who How else. did you meet your husband now, the Harry oh, White? He's through, a great guy. 